Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum friends. So today our topic is motor and generators question and answers. So I already uploaded motor and generator related to video about whatever I saw in the standards, whatever discussions is there. So I will choose some questions from that standard, that video and uh, whatever in my experience I asked or someone asked me up the, the questions related to motor and generators. So we will discuss that. And one more thing for motors we are preparing some packages also. Uh, solar run packages so I think I will prepare uh, an other video about that package if, otherwise uh, this video will become a uh, long so after watch this video if you have any question related to motor and generator not about any other uh, uh, topic like if you are asking about switch gear or cable no we have a uh, different videos so uh, if you have a question related to that video only comment in that uh, under that video not uh, like we are discussing about motor and generator and uh, your question not related to this topic so after watch this video if you have any question please comment that one so i will try to answer this our purpose of this channel are preparing this video to just share knowledge and if you have any more than that knowledge please write your comments so let's start our topic today question and answer of motor and generators and we will discuss inshallah hopefully it will help you in your next interviews thank you bismillahir rahmanir rahim ji to let's start motor and generators question and answers so we will start that one first of all uh, they can ask uh, preservation of motor and generator so what should we will answer about that uh, in our video we already discuss where in very detail the preservation and uh, for motor and generator the area should be non heated free of vibration that area free of any falling objects uh, there is no any chemical or any acid near that one and not directly touched to the ground should be their pilot or something where that motor or generators are preserved and how many space heater uh, for 180 kilowatt motor so this one see in the this is the preservation time we have to uh, run the uh, run our all uh, space heaters so for 185 kilowatt there should be a two space heater if preservation more than six months of motor if there is uh, the preservation more than one uh, six month then we have to uh, run the motor for 30 minutes and we have to check everything is working fine temperature for motor and generator suitable it's a uh, 50 degree in the gulf area actually ambient temperature we consider that is the 50 degree dual voltage motor acceptable for how many hp that is up to 30 hp dual voltage uh, motor acceptable oh, 1200 rpm only for below 3750 kilowatt motors induction motor between 250 and 500 horsepower with 480 volt system are permitted only for motor with cable that are within the length measured from substation 300 meter that's mean our supply coming from substation and motor not more than 300 meter away from the that substation for for that uh, uh, is that 250 to 500 horsepower motor for 480 volt is acceptable winding class at 50 uh, degree temperature that winding class should be b uh, that is the actually design factor but uh, they can ask sometime the question of that one motor fan shall be metallic fiber and it can run in both uh, like uh, 
both rotations like you can say right and left both side the sound level of 90 db that is the motor actually during solar run test solar run test what is the solar run test solar run test we will do four hour without load we run the motor and that time we will check the sound of that motor that is not more than 90 decibel at load the motor temperature it's like 80 80 degree not more than that 460 or less 0.18 to 185 kilowatt 460 volt are above we will use the 185 to 370 kilowatt motors 185 to 7500 kilowatt to rtd that's mean two space heater should be run and more than 7500 it's a 3 rtd temperature for motor alarm as we already discussed the on the load should be 80 but if the temperature reached to 90 degrees the, the alarm should be uh, indicated in the in substation we have a one alarm panel and up to if temperature reached 95 degree that should be trip the motor can trip on that temperature testing of that motor uh, we already discussed uh, in our video uh, PI test uh, like winding resistance test after installation we have to do solar run test the in the solar run the vibration and the temperature sound and in the substation side we will check the running current starting current running voltage starting voltage this all the things we have to check there value for motor insulation if the voltage is 0 to 250 then the 50 mega ohm and if that 251 to 600 volt 100 mega ohm and 601 to 5000 this is the 1000 mega ohm should, value should be for insulation which one we will do the motor insulation resistance test motor and uh, generator there is not a uh, lot of questions uh, in the standard but normally they can ask you the installation side also what you will check if the motor you are going to install so we have to check uh, the motor pad or uh, that foundation is uh, okay they're not bolt uh, fixing that is the correct there is no any problem for that cable termination time the cable come to the motor uh, that one junction box which one motor have that one is uh, okay it's coming through the conduit or cable tree and accessible that termination in future if maintenance time we have uh, it's easy to assess that area so if you have any question uh, related to motor and generators uh, please uh, write in the comment I will try to answer that and uh, if you want more clearance uh, I already upload in QC course there is a video and with the standard detail motor and generators so you can uh, watch that one okay guys thank you assalamu alaikum